What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my studios. And I know it's really, really late. But as you can tell, I just got my hair done. Shout out to my cousins. But I wanted to talk to you all about the potential storylines with the bloodline continuing going forward with Netflix's Monday Night Raw. A few days ago, Roman Reigns was talking about how he would pretty much prefer to work in this current state in the WWE in terms of like PG, but we're in the Renaissance era now, the Triple H era, and the product so far has been really good. But even though I personally don't agree with him stating that he wants to work in the continuation of the PG era, but there are some good out of it because of the creativity that is going along with the bloodline storyline continuing to like be the talk of the town on social media training on Twitter because of how good WWE has been for the last couple of years on the Triple H. And so for me, I would like to think that if Roman Reigns were to be drafted to Raw, I'm pretty sure that he's going to end up having a good time being himself because Netflix is known for a lot of good TV shows where people are allowed freedom and creativity to allow them to be themselves and create flavor. And so for me, Roman Reigns on Monday Night Raw could help the ratings go up. So he doesn't have to stay being PG for way too long. We could just go and push the inflow and push the agentness to the product and make it great. Like how back in the Attitude Era when they were pushing the envelope while being PG still throughout 1998. But it wasn't until late 1998 when they really really went tv 14 because of the blood swearing and profanity being used in daily television every week because they were in competition with wcw at the time but once the 2000s rolled in that's when the company has really really grown over the years because of the likes of Undertaker, Stone Cold, The Rock, Rikishi, Kurt Angle, Triple H, Vince McMahon in general. But when WCW went out of business in 2001, the WWF at the time were really, really on the peak of an era of professional wrestling. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen with AEW when WWE continues to go and be in competitions with all Elite Wrestling because AEW at this point has been nothing but kind of boring and I feel like it lost its mark because of them stopped using blood and swearing like they used to when they first came out and now it's been more softer these days but I feel like with WWE they can pretty much be edgy but remain family friendly. But as time went on, I don't think they don't have to worry about doing all of that anymore because of things are changing because of Triple H. And when Raw goes Netflix in January of 2025, things are not going to be the same like it was on USA Network. But it seems like the sponsors have been holding this product back because they're not allowing wrestlers and segments to go out and swear like they've been doing it for the past couple of months before every other PLE. So at this point, I think USA Network needs to soften up and stop being soft and allow the wrestlers to go out and have fun and that's what Triple H has been doing for the past three years since he's been taking over 
So as long as things are a little bit more mature for a certain group of audiences like teens and adults, I think the product is going to end up being way, way better. So it's way better than the Visma Man era, in my opinion. So like Rumorine says, if he wants to stay in this current product of the WWE, I say let him because at least he's bringing us something that we've been asking for years is change in character with the Tribal Chief gimmick that he's been given. It worked, it popped, it peaked. When he was a heel, he was having fun, so much freedom to create some of the best storylines ever of being the longest champion of all time. But the only issue with that is that he doesn't win clean. He only did it like a couple times, but not all the time. He always had to have help for a lot of things. But since his return to SummerSlam this year, the pop that he got was not only legendary, but I think this version of Rumor Reigns going up against Solo Sokoa and the rest of the bloodline, I think the bloodline is going to end up being the most talked about stories in the history of professional wrestling. Even Jay Uso, shout out to him, wanted to do a storyline with his brothers in the bloodline because when Roman Reigns comes to Raw, I think that the story is going to be very Oscar worthy, very entertaining, but in a good way because you know it's going to be one of the most fire storylines ever told, ever created because of Triple H. And to be honest with you, I think what Triple H needs to do, if G. Uso wants to do a program with either Jacob Fasu, Tamatanga, and his brother, or Solo Sokoa, he better have some backup. Or better yet, bring back Rikishi. And I think you're going to have a blood in blood, war on war. Bloodline versus Bloodline. The Samoan Dynasty storyline in the WWE. Just know that what Triple H can do in the program could also benefit. No, no, can also benefit what the fans have been wanting for years. And I believe that he can do this. I believe he has what it takes to somehow give the fans what they want. And I just know it. And one more thing I forgot to mention before I go to bed. Yesterday I was on Twitter and I just found out that Raw is going back to two hours. You have no idea how excited I am about this. Because we've been asking for this show to go back to two hours since forever. Three hours has become so boring to the point where everybody has stopped watching wrestling because of this man. But he's no longer but he's no longer here anymore. So Triple H just taking over. Even though the show is three hours long, at least he made it work. He made you want to watch because of interesting storylines. And that is the one thing I appreciate Triple H the most is taking time to just create cinematic stories for the WWE. And he's done a fantastic job so far. Yes, the booking is still bad, but at least he's making up for a lot of mistakes that this man has created throughout the years and has made WWE feel safe again. And so, the fact that Raw is going back to two hours, it feels like Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era again. 
even somewhere of the PG era before they went three hours for the first time in 2012, which should have been a one-time thing, but they ended up going along with it throughout the 2010s and 2020s. But the fact that it's going back to two hours starting next month on the 7th of October is a good time to be a WWE fan altogether. So, what are your thoughts on this video? Do you agree with Roman Reigns saying that he wants to stay in the current era of the WWE? And do you think that Jay Uso will do a good job with the bloodline storyline, whether he goes up against Jacob Fasu, Tamatanga, or Solo Sokoa? And how do you feel about Raw going back to two hours? Let me know in the chat. I'm gone.